Welcome back to Munchin' Mondays. We are finally back in the kitchen again, whipping up some stuff for you. So Bradford actually has a cold. So we are going to whip up some chicken, chicken soup. soup. Obviously vegan. So our ingredients today are onion, and I have two here because I don't have one big enough. So, is that rotten? I think it's fine. I got two onions, I have two packs of chicken. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use both, but it's the Ives Veggie Cuisine um, strips. Carrots, celery, and chickenless broth. This is from President's Choice, so Superstore here, and it is the bomb. They also have beefless broth. Both are really great. There was only two of these left in the store, so I bought them both. And for spices, we're gonna use black pepper and turmeric. This is purely just for the health benefits. And then we also have some parsley that we're gonna add in as well. Normally I would add salt, but this broth has quite a bit of salt in it, so we're not gonna need any salt. So, Let's do this thing. Yeah, we're gonna start up just chopping onions, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> also a tip, I used to get very annoyed cooking because the knives I was cutting with sucked and I didn't really realize because I had never cut with a good knife. So if you don't like cooking, or even if you like cooking but you haven't really upgraded your kitchen utensils, get yourself a good knife. This knife wasn't even expensive. We didn't get a set or anything, we got this one knife and it was seven dollars I think at Giant Tiger. So. I was gonna say, the tears are on the way. Oh. It's so hard in here because there's no air. <laughs> I mean, there's no air to like, you know, air it out. We, we have a fan. I don't know if that would work. It's also cold. <laughs> okay. Now, the celery. I actually like to use these tips. I know everyone cuts them off, but I really like them when we make our fake tuna. I love it in that. And I think I'm gonna put it in the soup, if that's okay with you. Sure. Okay. Okay, so for the carrots, you can be normal and cut them normally, but for soup, I like to cut them in like squares. So, I'll show you how I do that. You cut that in half that in half and then depending on how big these are you cut them in two or three I'm gonna cut these ones in three I don't know why I just like them better like that in soup for some reason well in chicken noodle soup I like to make it as close to like you know the Campbell's I don't think the Campbell's has carrots in it it doesn't no, I think it's just like spaghetti noodles. And it's not spaghetti noodles. Like the little Campbell's cans? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's... No, they're like squared off noodles. They're not spaghetti noodles. Comment below. Regardless of the noodles, it's definitely uh, just the noodles. Okay, and chicken. I think. It has chicken. Or is it just Oh my broth? god, do you even know? Like, you're just talking out your ass. I'm not. It, there's definitely chicken in chicken noodle soup. It looks like little pieces of tuna. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I think you are correct. Okay, we're gonna start cooking those. And then we'll get the um, chicken going. So I don't think we've show you, showed you yet, have we? I don't think we have, no. We upgraded our stove. Oh my god, it's dirty. Why is it dirty? I need a cloth. We upgraded our stove. <laughs> Martin, we call him. And the biggest upgrade on this one is... You're a wizard, Ari. Okay, so... Throw in some oil. Throw it in. Just gonna stir this up. Separated. And we're just gonna let those cook until they're 
pretty much clear. Okay, so again, you can you can do whatever you want here, but I like to take the chicken and rather than cut it, I like to actually pull it apart because then it just looks more chickeny. It does take a while though. I was gonna say that looks like it's gonna take forever. No. That was the floor. Oh. It creaked. I wasn't sure if it was Jasper or if you farted. <sighs> That's disgusting, he said. Absolutely. Uh, repulsive? Repulsive, yes. Thank you. I know what you're thinking at all times. Yum. Oh no. You're getting kind of low on the water supply. It's not freezing cold today. No, it's nice. It's so funny when you think, ah, oh, I don't need a water heater. <laughs> I guess we also didn't think we we're going to be stuck here for the winter either. So. Why did we not think that? We optimistic. tried to be very optimistic, yes. We tried to remain hopeful. Okay, so that's the, that's the hardest part of the soup. Cutting everything up. Now we're gonna toss this chicken in. Cook that up just a little bit. When people put rice in the chicken noodle soup. I think that's turkey soup. Ah. I'm not saying they couldn't put it in chicken, but that my memory it's turkey like it's like left usually like leftover thanksgiving or whatever what was that water here's water yeah just a little more water to keep things you know hydrated <laughs> no, just, that looks good it does <laughs> okay now for the broth this broth right here is a lifesaver it is the uh, beef broth too, incredible. I made stew with that, which stay tuned. We'll we'll get <laughs> we'll get some stew going too. This is just so much easier than well, you you used to make the broth, but I assume this is easier. It's not that it's easier. It's just this is chicken broth. Like I made vegetable broth. Right. So sorry, chickenless. This is chickenless broth. Don't get it twisted. All right. Should I throw some water in there too, or like is that enough soup? It's your soup. No, it's your soup. I just don't want to water it down too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Usually when we make soup, it's like up there. Okay. So I added one cup of water. Shouldn't do any harm. And where my spices go? I'm gonna add in this turmeric. Oh yeah, so anyways, normally I would make vegetable broth and I would do that by taking the scraps of the vegetables and boiling water on them, which actually is really easy. It just doesn't taste like chicken broth, that's all. But it's a really good idea for veggie broth. And it's cool too, like if you don't have veggie broth laying around and you're gonna make something with veggies in it, like you literally just put the scraps in a pot with some water and boil it and then drain it. Easy. Easy. Okay, some pepper because, well, pepper loves pepper, so we put pepper in it anyways. But, now I'm not a health expert, so <laughs> I don't know exactly, but whatever is in turmeric um, that gives you like the health benefits, pepper is needed to like activate those. So if you use turmeric without pepper, it's not, it's not really that beneficial for you. Really? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna wait to add our parsley until the end. We're just gonna let that cook for a bit. So normally at this point I would put the cover on the pot, but it's not in here, so just let it simmer like this. And we just want it to simmer until the veggies are soft. The onions are good, but the carrots and the celery just need a little time. The unfortunate thing about this is if you're cooking in a house, you're gonna be using a normal stove which normally like this cooks quite a bit faster. So I can't really give you like a good time frame of like 
how long to do things, just try the carrots and celery and you'll know when it's done. I would say 15 minutes, probably. Bradford just went inside, but look at this blasphemy. That, folks, is a mosquito on November 29th. What in the world? We have Christmas decorations up and a mosquito. Look at this. Oh, it's flying. It's flying. No, don't kill it. Oh. Did you see what it was? A mosquito? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's November 29th. <laughs> yeah, but it's warm out. Oh my god. Skeeters. Okay, so we've taken it off the heat. I'm just gonna throw in my parsley here. Oh. Wasn't accidental, was it? No. We often do put um, noodles in this. We just didn't want noodles today. The aisle at the grocery store that has food from like different parts of the world, uh, they have these noodles that are like Mr. Noodles, but there's no like sauce packs. It's just like six little things of Mr. Noodles. So those are the ones we use. But you can really use any noodles. Oh my God, what is this? Who's gonna eat soup with this? Me, what's wrong with it? It's a little spoon. That's what I like. You like to eat soup with a little tiny spoon? I always spoon? eat soups with little spoons and cereal. Well, I'm sorry about cereal, so calm the hell down. <laughs> okay, there you go. Mm, looks good. Mm. That's Delicious. Good. Is that gonna cure you? I'm cured. <laughs> I was never sick. Just a little sniffle. But I am good. I'm cured now because of the soup. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We're gonna go eat our soup and you'll be seeing us a lot more in the kitchen because restaurants or takeout only. We're not supposed to go down to the city, which is where we get all of our vegan food. So we'll be cooking. Cheers. We're gonna take this hair off the onion because we don't want that in there. And then for spices, we're gonna use, I don't know why I did this. <laughs> I, ah! I think we just washed the floor. Stop, don't you dare put your mouth on that. That's what she said.